Hello everybody, I am back! <laughs> Well, sort of, sort of. When I'm filming this, technically I'm still on my social media content creation break. But when you guys see this, this is kind of the first video that I wanted to make when I come back. I have my little glass of wine here, so I figured I would drink this and then, you know, get unready with you guys. Mm. Oh my gosh, guys. I didn't really have like the best couple of months if I'm being honest. Life came and did me dirty, okay? Life is a continuous circle and sometimes it's shitty. So <laughs> the best way to kind of combat all of that is to do a little self-care routine. So that is what I'm doing today. I will be honest though, like I'm a little drunk, okay? So this is gonna be like a, a drunk get unready with me or drunk get ready with me. I'm gonna show you guys my new updated skincare routine and everything that I've been doing to kind of like keep my skin nice. Your girl been going through it and my self-care routine kind of suffered because of that, so. <laughs> We're getting back on track with that. Your girl has been a little depressed. I'm not gonna get into that during this video. I kind of wanted this comeback to kind of be, I guess, like a positive one. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just want it to be like a good experience and I kind of want to ease my way back into YouTube, into filming, the whole shebang. I haven't really done like a vlog style video like this in a very, very long time. So I feel like it would be kind of fun if I tiptoed my way back in <laughs> through this style of video. Hence the wine. I hate to say it, but a little bit of wine does help. <laughs> let's do a little, let's do a little YouTube magic. Okay, a little YouTube magic, ready? Okay, now I'm actually ready for a little self-care night. So I'm starting off the night with a little hydrogen peroxide cleansing of my tools. I'm gonna shave my face, and by shave, I mean like dermaplaning. I like to do this maybe like once a week, if not once every two weeks. It really just depends on how fast my hair grows on my face. I like to disinfect my tools, and I'll put them in hydrogen peroxide. This will get rid of all the dead skin cells, and bacteria that may be on the blades. Hydrogen peroxide will tell you if something has bacteria on it because it'll start to foam up or bubble. And as you guys can see, I have a clear system here and all of my tools are ready to be used. When you get the first signs of rust, get rid of your tools, okay? I'm just putting that out there, get rid of them. I already did this like maybe a week ago less than a week ago so I don't think my face is gonna really produce that much hair and dead skin cells but I try to keep at this on a weekly basis at least. The girl has been depressed so I will be honest I didn't do this for maybe like two or three months and my skin got so bad I have very sensitive skin, so if I'm not like on top of my skincare, it is not good. Hopefully I'm even like in frame. Oh, and I cut myself just a tiny bit over here. You guys do have to be careful. I, you know what, I'm gonna advise this right now. You probably shouldn't be doing this when you've been drinking. And I'm not listening to my own advice this time, so take that with a grain of salt. <laughs> oh, maybe you guys, okay, yeah, maybe you guys will be able to see this, but I do have a decent amount of dead skin cells and hair on this, so. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my eyebrows and kind of shape them. I really don't have to do it for maybe another week, if not two. They're looking okay, but there's definitely, you know, I could trim it up a little bit. And then I'm going to show you guys the face mask that I usually use. I talked about it in my health update video that I'm making. I tried filming a glow up video and it ended up turning into a health update. So you guys should stay tuned for that video. It'll kind of explain why I have been absent from social media 
YouTube, the whole thing. It's just one of those prime examples why life is crazy. This clay mask actually, it actually works. Like this is something that I will buy no matter what. I'm not sponsored by them. This whole video, by the way, I just wanted to clarify that this video, none of the products that I'm showing in this video are sponsored. This is just genuinely stuff that I like, that I use that works for my skin very well. So with that same cup that I showed you earlier that had my tools in it, I just washed it out and I'm gonna put in this clay. I like to put in the clay first and then I'll put in the water and kind of like mix it accordingly. You don't wanna add too much water because then it'll start getting liquidy and it won't really like stick to your face all that well. So you kinda wanna get it into like a, a paste texture. Okay, that wine is low-key hitting me. Okay, I'm going to check back in when the mask is dry and I will leave all the links in the description box down below if you guys want to try these products out. All right, I'm back, bitches. It's time to take off the face mask. Actually, let me finish off this one. Mm. It is pretty late in the night, so I don't want to like drink too much more. I'm actually going to be switching over to water. We're going to wash this face off, so give me a second. <laughs> Obviously with everything that's been happening, my mental health has kind of taken a dive. And with that, usually my routines and my self-care things take a, they take a back burner, they take a side gig, you know, hence why I've been like inspired to do this video. Another huge thing is my hair, bro. Like it, ooh. There are so many tangles and I have not brushed my hair in a couple days. I hope you guys don't like judge me too hard in this video because I'm really trying to be like candid and vulnerable with you guys and just show you the realities of kind of like what I'm going through. Again, more explanation is on the way, but for now, easing my way back into things like i've said and you know what guys like i'm not even mad about it i'm not even being like too hard on myself about it because usually if you don't go through things you don't feel things it does come back to bite you later on me personally i really try to like face head on like what i'm feeling what i'm going through really try to acknowledge what I'm feeling, go through everything, and hopefully come out on the other side healed and or better off than when I originally found myself due to said situation. And sometimes that does take a couple months. As of now, it's like the three month mark since I actually filmed the video that maybe you guys have seen, I like kind of announced that I was like taking a break from YouTube. So it's been a couple months and I'm kind of at that point where I need to stop 
wallowing in my sorrows and actually take some steps to alleviate said depression or said anxiety and a lot of that does have to deal with like my self-care routine and like what I'm doing to take care of myself and focus on being present, etc. I've been reaching out to my friends more and I'm trying to see my family more often. It's just a lot of the things that have happened, it's been really, really bad timing, both financially, spiritually, everything. Like, like I said, those videos that are coming out, they'll just, they'll just tell you guys so much more. I'm not gonna get into it in this video. I'm actually like doing pretty well mentally today. I'm gonna get into the shower and wash off the rest of this face mask and then I'm going to wash my hair and stuff. Okay, I am done showering and I'm gonna show you guys the best part of this whole video, the skincare. I'm kind of switching over to Maycoop. It's a skincare brand I was introduced to by my sister-in-law and they use maple syrup extracts as like the base ingredient for all their products or a lot of their products. I'm not gonna say all of them, but a lot of their products. And today I just so happen to have the base products that you should have if you're gonna try Maycoop. There were a few technical difficulties during data transfer and half the video and all of the audio got cut. So I'm just gonna show you what I have here. This is the Vine Expert Serum. I'm so glad that I added this to my routine because it takes care of the acne scarring that I have from leftover breakouts. This next product isn't related to Maycoop at all, but it is amazing. This is the best snail mucin that I've found so far. This moisturizer is from Maycoop. It is the raw moisturizer. It is so creamy and thick but it doesn't clog your pores and it is so hydrating and that tall glass bottle that you see there in the back that is the raw sauce holy grail of Meiku. this is the creamier version so it's extra hydrating okay we are going to get started with the skincare i just kind of go based off of what my skin likes the most and i have been testing out this skincare brand for a couple months now and I kind of know like what my skin likes. First and foremost, I'm going to use the Vine Expert Serum. This is really good for getting rid of like acne scars and blemishes, just like overall uneven skin tone and stuff. It kind of reinforces the natural skin barrier. Next, I'm going to go in with the Raw Cream Skin Toner. I've read online that a lot of people, oh my god, that in my mouth. I read online that a lot of people are replacing their moisturizer with this toner. And if I'm being honest, I can't really say the same because I have really bad combination skin. So no matter what, yeah, girl, I'll always need moisturizer. This is probably one of my favorite moisturizers on the market it is so luscious and creamy not to mention affordable and i'll put the excess on the lower half of my face because like i said it get really dry guys when i tell you this stuff feels so silky so creamy but like it's not the kind of creamy that clogs your pores it's like a very moisturizing will be gone within an hour type of moisturizing but it doesn't make your skin dry like later on in the day like how some cream moisturizers they'll make you like very moisturized for like a couple hours and then later on in the daytime you'll kind of be dry this type of moisturizer does not do that it is so good i'm like honestly surprised again huge shout out to my sister-in-law abby for recommending me these products my life has been changed. My skin feels so good. Okay, so now that that has dried in just a little bit, I'm going to go in with this snail mucin. I live by snail mucin. It's one of the best natural skincare products that we can use. 
This really just creates a protective barrier slash locks in the moisture from the other products that you put on your face. But it basically just locks in the moisture, provides another layer of protection for the skin. Of course, I still like struggle with acne and stuff. That's like inevitable. I think I have kind of like a hormonal imbalance. So I usually get like pretty bad acne around my jowls and like my cheek area. Usually food, my stress levels, they all kind of like have something to do with how much acne I get. But with Maycoop, my skin stays pretty good for the most part. Okay, this is a step that maybe not everyone will do. You, you technically don't have to do this step, but I will put like the tiniest, well, I kind of over poured. <laughs> I kind of over poured the sunscreen this time, but usually I'll put like the tiniest little bit of sunscreen. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I will like go out in the garden or go outside, get the mail, trash can, whatever it is like outside. Sometimes you don't put your sunscreen on and you'll just walk out in the sun and burn your little face off. And I like to give my future self an opportunity to enjoy the morning sun without burning my skin off. So, <sighs> little tip for you guys in case you, you know, have pale, sensitive skin like me. Ooh, my skin is feeling moisturized. <sighs> I forgot to re up on this as well when I like ordered because I had some left over. But so I'll usually put this on before the Vine Serum. It's the raw sauce toner. I think I might have said that the raw cream sauce was the toner in the beginning, but this is actually the the toner it's just the raw sauce it's very light and for if you have like oily skin i feel like this one would work better for you than the raw cream skin because the raw cream skin has more moisturizing properties in it and then this one is more of like an overall toner i got moisturizer in my eye but yes i love both products obviously dude i got some i got some product in my eyes so my my eyes burning a little bit. <laughs> See, now that's the problem when you don't wait for your product to fully absorb. But yes, if you guys have dry slash normal combination skin, then this company will work amazing for you guys. They're very geared towards sensitive skin, so if this is something that you might be interested in, I'll have all the links down below if you guys want to try it out. Okay, I think I'm going to end the video here. I got the skincare under control and I'm feeling ready for bed. Not to mention, it's like... 1.30, 2 a.m. right now. So your girl needs to go to bed. I hope that this video was a great precursor to the videos that I'm gonna be putting out. I've gotta be honest, they're not gonna be like the happiest of vlogs. So if that kind of stuff triggers you, then I definitely suggest skipping those videos. But if you guys want to, you know, get a little more vulnerable and get closer with me, then I highly suggest watching those videos because I am proud of them and I did put my heart and soul into creating them. So even though they may be sad and even though they may be uncomfortable, I still highly suggest that you guys take some time and watch them. For now, I am so happy to be back and thank you guys so much for supporting me and even watching some of my old videos, like I've gotten messages from some of you guys saying that you've been watching some of my older videos and that literally makes my heart so happy and yeah, I'm just, I'm starting to get out of my funk and I'm ready to start creating again and start making videos. So I hope you guys miss me as much as I missed you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.